Oh, do we want to get Meadow? I think I'm going to say no for now, uh, just because we don't know if it helps, and I don't want to spam the deck full, especially when I want mountains, thickets, and dunes. Uh, we'll, we'll try and do the Meadow combo later. Uh, let's see. Main, re main reason why I want to put it off a little bit uh, is I don't know how much it helps. Get a growth right off the bat. I don't... I don't know how much it helps, and I'm... I'm afraid of spamming the deck full of things that I don't immediately need. We get another Grove. Okay. Uh, t -t 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 having trouble pacing my thoughts together. I... One second. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, the re the reason, the other reason why I want to wait is because I still want to get the bridge and the river tiles as well. That until we have all of those, I don't really know if I want to mess around with, uh, ooh, book. I don't know if I want to mess around with trying to come up with combos, because there's a very real possibility there's only two more remaining combos, and they involve bridges or something. Is that 10% de- oh no, that's, that's summon quality. I was like, 10% extra defense, that's odd. Okay, where do I want to put this village? Here? Might as well. Because yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Uh because I, I don't have the wheat fields anymore, so I can just put it where, wherever I want. Kind of. Okay. Guess we'll put it there. Not the most helpful. We like to speculate about combos we have no clue about. Eh. And the main thing is just, like, I, I actually get the distinct feeling there are less environmental combos than we think there are. I think there's only a handful. Most of my general disappointment. I really wish there were tons of them. You know, interesting land masses that we could create. Yeah, it is possible they haven't put them all in yet. Okay, I'm really regretting these outposts. Like, I'll do it once just to see, but I'm, I might honestly leave just to get rid of it. Because we've already found a bunch of them. Outposts are great at recycling? Huh? You mean like if I recycle them, they give me a good resource, or... Okay. Where do we get a village down? I guess I'll just put them down kind of periodically. Okay. Yeah, I'll still put down rocks to make the mountain peak just to get that extra max HP. But then I'll probably stop. But yeah, my bet my bet is there are not nearly as many interesting combos as everybody's throwing around right now. And so it's like, it would be really cool if they comboed with a lot of things. At least now we get to see the assistant. To arms! To arms! The dead are at the gate! No, wait. I'm not going to harm anyone, or at least those who don't want to harm me. Actually, I could hurt many, come to think of it. 
It doesn't matter. I'm trying to save this world, and I need help. Oh, yeah? And how do you plan to save the world? By raising the corpses of our relatives from the ground? Maybe you can resurrect the dead, but not our desire to help you. All these undead are disgusting. It's a disease that must be exterminated, and those who spread it must be the first to perish. I'm fighting evil monsters as we speak. Does that mean nothing to you? Open your eyes. Yeah, it means it's a very convenient opportunity to get rid of you both at the same time. Archers, shower them with arrows until they understand that the apocalypse is the least of their troubles. Huh. Alright, that's slightly different. Alright, suddenly I'm digging this a little bit more. They're very limited in where I can place them, though, which is a, a bit of a tragedy. Yeah, on the bright side, they won't take your loot. I hope, hope not. But yeah, I'll probably skip those. We could try a village and an outpost, but I'm not, I'm really not betting on it doing anything. Didn't do anything. I didn't see that coming. I I figured something weird like that would crop up. It's amusing that that did happen, though. But I should probably actually get some equipment down. Uh, no. We want that. Hello. That's better. Oh. If you just hover over the card, it'll flash as a combo. Really? I'll have to keep that in mind. But yeah, unfortunately, it's probably going to be a while before we learn all of the combos. And there is the very real possibility that the developers withheld quite a bit. Ooh. This shield gives max skeletons and skeleton levels. So there really is a good reason to have that extra equip slot. I try Vampire with Village and you'll see what I mean. Yeah. I've definitely done that combo before but I haven't seen the flashing, but that means nothing. I miss quite a lot, just because there's so much to keep track of. Unfort unfortunately, we're getting nothing but just, like, really base tier equipment here. Garlic. Makes me do more damage to vampires, which is actually really helpful. Okay, so we get an Oblivion. I'm going to get rid of the Bandit Camp. I really don't like Bandit Camps. Alright, let's get the Mountain Peak down. That gets me some Harpies. That's what I'm looking for. Put it there just so it has a chance of spawning some more. We might actually want to get a temporal beacon kind of around this just so it summons more dudes. Nah, I want that magic shield. Nothing more. Okay. Better amulet. Treasury. 
probably should have actually put that down around elsewhere, but it's fine. Love lone bandit. I will gladly delete all bandits. I should probably look at what kind of loot the Watcher gives. My general assumption is they're not actually that good. They're kind of a nice support role, but they're not actually very strong. So I will gladly kind of plop them down wherever. That's the Epos Plus Mountain. There's no synergy. Like, I don't, I don't need a bunch of ideas of what could be. Because, unfortunately, this game does not have kind of that, like, intrinsic logic of, like, oh, of course, these two together always gives you this. Uh, let's see. I might actually want to get residual heat. Supplies isn't terrible. Horde is very limited. But residual heat would cut down on my need to heal. I've got a very high regen, though. Yeah, I, I would adore it if they just suddenly said, uh, had like a, and a, well, let's see, do we want to burn this? No, let's burn this village. We got to get some blood beast down. I would adore it if they, uh, had like an update later down the line where they're like, hey, you want to make like the mega dune? Here you go. Do you want to make the, uh, some kind of weird bloodied sand fields? Here you go. Uh, and just gave like a bunch of really interesting unique locations that could be gotten by com combining various structures on the field with new unit types, but presumably budget, time, effort. Oh, we've got the attack speed bonus, which means, oh, that makes the Necromancer a thousand times stronger. And the biggest issue I was having with the Necromancer was just the fact that he wasn't getting enough undead outs, uh, and that it was difficult to get an army available just because, you know, I was getting, uh, I just attacked that slowly. But yeah, a world-building DLC would be really cool for this game. Or mods, yeah. If they just straight up released a modding API so you can make your own classes, uh, equipment, so on and so forth. What's my max HP doing? It's actually doing fine. Okay. It's really tempting to... Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I'll own it. That's better. Not quite there. That's okay. I heal a fair bit based on all of my all of my skeletons dying. So getting clobbered here is not actually so bad. I had concerns for a moment there. Let's make it worse. That's this is gonna be rough. Let's see. No, I'm gonna get a thicket down kind of in here so we can get another blood grove. Now I gotta stick with the red or the red rings, the upgraded rings. It. It's one of the things that makes the Necromancer really interesting is, like, you want the better loot, but what you really want is just a large quantity of rare loot than high-level loot. Please stop hitting me. Please keep hitting my... my Skelemen.
Uh, let's see. Oh. We got some more dunes. We got some more thickets. We got obli an oblivion. Ooh. This really worked out. All right, get that down. Oblivion. Do I see... I don't think I see any bandit encampments. Let's get a... Uh, buh, 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 buh. I want to get the blood grove down. The interesting question, if I got rid of the rans if I got rid of the vampire mansion, would the ransacked villages turn into I have no idea. I'm gonna put it down there for the time being. We'll just keep stacking these. I was gonna try and get a Blood Grove near this, but I just don't think we're gonna pull it off. Okay. Eh, my HP's doing fine. And now I've got archery support. Not that I want said archery support necessarily, but it exists. That's gonna be way more helpful for me. Okay. Permanent 0.5 bonus to energy armor. For every summon skeleton. Does that... I think that's incredible. Yeah, that is permanent permanent. That's not like, as long as they exist you get it. It is, every time I summon one of these guys I get one temporary HP permanently. Oh, I know what I can do. I can just delete this as soon as it's done and then surround it in mountain tiles. Sound semi busted. That's kind of how this game functions, though. That it is. It is kind of semi busted. The thing is, you're just trying to outscale your enemies, which is actually kind of tough. So, like, that would have been a really good starting perk. Residual heat's still good, but starting with that one would have been insane. I might actually be in trouble here. Shit, I might die. I am here. Okay, we needed this, though. That will probably... That alone will probably save my life. But I might want to start deleting goblin camps. Okay, so let's go back in here. We're gonna turn off the outpost. It's trash. I'm gonna turn off the... No, I'm gonna keep the temporal beacon. I think I'm just gonna delete every goblin camp that we go by. 
Predict attack speed, beacon self. Nah. Nah, I, I think... I think I just need to avoid... Or not avoid goblins, but... I think I just need to nuke them for a while. We're also kind of running a bit of a bad streak for equipment. Yeah, it turns out Goblin Slayer was right. Of course he was. Did you want to add meadows? No. I, I said I didn't want to. They're not actually that good. There's a couple of situations where meadows could be incredible. Uh, but... The main issue with meadows is that they don't scale very well based on loop. You can get a whole bunch of them down, which is kind of good. But no, I, I want to wait until we have a lot of other things unlocked before I start messing with meadows. Like, I'm not trying to, uh... I'm not trying to come up with combos right now. I'm trying to, uh... Did a grove here? Yeah, I guess we could just avoid vampires there. But... I, I'm trying to unlock the resources so that I can get the bridge and the river tiles, which requires me to win. Uh, let's see. Why did I put that there? Eh, that's fine. I'll be okay. I think with the extra spawn rates, especially. Alright, I was gonna get the mountain down. I think that's still worth it. I'm getting wrecked here a little bit. That'll help. No, I wanna get a grove out there. And let's just start putting rocks down. I'm really gonna look at what the Watcher gives. Because either they're completely pointless or they're actually very useful. Okay. I kind of wish there was also a much faster speed on this game. I don't mind it, but it's kind of one of those where a lot of these fights are dragging on just a little bit. I'd love to go halo faced. Get some thickets and some dunes, please. There's the thicket. There's the thickness. Okay, that's good. Hey, perfect. We'll see. Nope. Come on. Oh, but I don't actually care about souls with these guys. Because we don't have the, uh... Well, that's fine. There's a, uh... It was the other golden structure. The one that gives me 3 HP per thing with a soul that I kill. But having the extra shield slot is just a thousand times better. Because, yeah, tons of HP is good. But I would very much like to have unique abilities and stuff. Because rarely does it come down to just pure raw beef in this game. Would you keep the bonuses if you oblivion a feature? Nope. No, I'm pretty sure they... Oh, it, it gets removed. The one thing you do get... To, oh! Cracked skeleton. I didn't see them go by. It's supposedly a 50%, but I guess I just miss it. We also got cheese. Whoa! Extra HP after killing an enemy. That's useful. Okay, this is hurting a bit. Yeah, we don't have the attack speed to really carry me forward here.
Like, I could put down a bunch of forests, but I really want to kind of conserve. Nah. But yeah, cheese seems useful. Especially if I can stack a bunch of cheeses. Because, yeah, if I could have five or six cheeses even, we could... Like, five HP per kill is actually huge. Man. Skyrim strikes again. Hell yeah. Okay, what do you guys think? Are we going to get Elder Scrolls 5? Is it 5 or 6 next? Marwind was 3, Oblivion, Skyrim. It'd be Elder Scrolls 6. Are we going to get Elder Scrolls 6 first, or are we going to get Skyrim HD? Uh, Ultra HD. The, like, remaster situation. Ultra HD first. Yeah, I wonder about that one. That said, if uh, if they could somehow get Skyrim to look like Horizon Zero Dawn, I'd gladly play it again. I know you can kind of do some of that with mods, but like, ugh. It's hard. Call it New Vegas HD. Don't tempt me with a good time. I'd play that. Especially if they, like, jury-rigged multiplayer into it. I was actually really disappointed that the, uh... Wow, we're getting wrecked here. Then again, we're rolling with a bunch of trash tier gear. That solves a lot of my problems. Uh... Unseen care. That's hugely helpful. Uh, what was the what was the mod that came out recently? Whatever the mod set in Oregon was that everybody was like really jazzed about. I was so disappointed to find out that that was just kind of trash. Like, did they even take that take that down? I know like half the mod, yeah, Fallout Frontier. I swear they, like, took down the, uh, the mod entirely or something silly like that, or maybe the dev team quit. Okay. I put this over here. Put it there. I'll vamp that one in a bit. For now, I'll just leave it as it is. Yeah, let's just go with a regen speed. We don't have very good equipment here, which is kind of holding me back really hard. That's good stuff. Especially if I get the whole, uh, well, if I get a whole bunch of, uh, bonus magic shield from summoning a ton. The New Vegas remaster is what I want. Yeah, that'd be good. Come on, give me a new shield. Last run we had just, like, all sorts of great, great dudes. This time, not nearly as much. I'll make it work by just rolling slow. Oh, we got spiders. We need those. We 
remastered Vegas would be great. I mean, you could even have Obsidian do it now that Microsoft owns both Bethesda and Obsidian. Personally, I'd, I'd honestly prefer them to just do uh, Outer Worlds 2, but better expanded-ish. Do I get the vampire mansions down? They're a little spooky for me right now, so I think I might hold off on it. At the same time, vampire equipment is good. Good shit. Let's, um, bust that one up first. Okay. Max Skeletons, Defensive Invasion, Max Skeletons. I want to go for the Max Skeletons. I might as well. The rest of these aren't doing me a whole lot of favors. This might get hairy. Obsidian's next game will be allowed once they're done with Rounded. I think they're actually doing multiple. Okay, I might get wrecked here. Like, I'm farming shield, but the the dogs are destroying me. Oh, that's huge. Unfortunately, this is a very natural consequence of me not getting a whole lot of good loot. Uh. There's a goblin camp. Uh. Yeah, I'm dead. I mean, maybe I'll get lucky. Main issue here being, enemies are level 5, I'm pretty sure my skeletons are like level 3. We really did not find the rare loot suitable for survival here. Okay. You know what? Let's hail Mary. Pop these open. Uh, let's see. Probably that there. Don't have too much else. Unfortunately, I'm still tanking the hits instead of my zombos. And I can't be doing that if I want to survive. Absolutely hate bandits.
I will delete a bandit camp before a goblin goblin camp any day. Okay. Maybe this extra regen will save my ass. I have a lot of HP here. Well, we're al already almost at half HP. A hit here. Gift of blood. Okay, on a hit, a hero or a skeleton can summon a blood lightning. Chances 20%. I don't know what blood lightning does, but it looks like that might actually be amazing for me. I might pull this off yet. Yeah, my skeleton level is dire. However, my attack speed is getting quick enough that I can potentially just keep cycling them out. And my regen is not bad. Nope, I'm gonna die. Damn it. They're bodying me. Okay. And yeah, we might want to go back and beat the Lich a bunch until we have all those perks. I do kind of wish there was a way to get more perk choices. Alright, let's, um... Seeing as I'm dying... Let's see if I can get a bit more. That was rough. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of the temporal beacons. Uh, let's check the encyclopedia. Monster. Watcher. They do drop, drop time shards. Orb of Unity. Ten drops form a whole orb of unity. Time shard. Whole astral orb. Okay, so there is actually a reason why I'd want to keep doing that, because I'm pretty sure almost nothing drops time shards. So I'll keep it on. Yeah, out of all of those all of those guys, you only got one time shard. Yeah. But I I do need them. It's a very rare orb. And I'm pretty sure I need two full of the, two of those fully to get the alchemist tent. 